guys welcome back to my channel today is a lazy day for me as you can see by the way I look I haven't combed my hair this is how I wear my hair at night I just put it in a few twists and then in the morning I well a few hours either or in the morning I take it down and I have really fluffy curls so I also have on my husband's t-shirt really big oversized t-shirt for me um, I've taken a shower but I knew I wasn't doing anything today so I just threw this back on and have on some pajama pants too um, and I'm just going to relax today and do some videos and watch some TV a lot of stuff I have recorded that I have not watched yet and I'm running out of space on my DVR so I need to get that watched so I can delete it anyway today is a video on some um, kiss gel strong polishes that I purchased at the Dollar Tree um, you know guys know that I love the gel strong polishes so I went um, through not too long ago with Cindy and I found some more that I didn't have so I picked those up too and I freaking love every single one of them I'll go ahead and tell you what I think about them. all right so you know what they look like this is the gel strong polish this one is called uh, mood today this one is like a a dusty burnt orange color but it's more orange you know, it looks like you may have a tinge of red in there, but it's mostly just like a burnt orange color. <clears throat> Excuse me. The formula on this was absolutely gorgeous. It was opaque in two coats. Now this one, I think if you do a thick enough coat, you can make it opaque in one coat. But I did two because I did a thin first coat. I usually do thin first coats now just to see how it's going to come out. And then I do a thicker second coat. So this one was, for me, opaque in two coats. The second polish I want to show you is called Habit. Now this is like a dusty blue with a little bit of gray in it. It doesn't, it looks kind of different on the swatch stick than it does in the bottle. It looks more of a grayish blue in the on the swatch stick than it does in the bottle. But this polish is so pretty. I love it. Um, that's what it looks like there in the bottle. This one was opaque in two coats. Um, with the sheer factor that was going on on the first coat, I thought this one was going to need three coats to be opaque, but it actually only needed two. That's what it looks like, and it's very, very beautiful. The formula was great. The next polish I want to show you is called Eye Contact. This one is like a gray polish and it has like a little bit of a lilac coloring in there it's opaque in two coats and the formula was excellent as all of them are and that's what it looks like the next one um is called this romance this one to me looks like a dusty olive color um, it's very, very smooth. It's darker on the swatch wheel than it is in the bottle. Um, this one's opaque to be okay. Mm, this was opaque. <laughs> this one was two coats to be opaque also. Beautiful formula. And you can see that it's a little darker on the swatch wheel than it is in the bottle. This next polish is called Silence. And to me, this looks like a dusty rose color. It looks different in the bottle than it does on the swatch wheel. It's a little bit darker on the swatch wheel than it is in the bottle. This one was opaque in two coats also. They were all opaque in two coats and the formula on every single one of them was wonderful. I don't have any complaints whatsoever about either one of these polishes. There's nothing negative to say about them. They are knocking it out of the box with these gel polishes and for them not to actually be gel polishes um they're really good polishes i just don't understand why there's not a bigger hype about these polishes because i think that we should get on the rooftops and just shout to the world about them that's my opinion uh, this is what it looks like to me it just looks like a really 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 dusty rose color well guys, that's it. That's all I want to show you for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, then let me know by thumbsing up the video. Leave me a comment in the box below. Um, if you do have any of these polishes and you've used them, please let me know what you think about them. I'd really like to know. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you'll get the notifications when I upload all of my videos. So I will talk to you in my next one, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.